Armed youth in coastal communities in Ondo State are trooping out to lay down their arms and ammunition and embrace an amnesty program extended by the government. They're, they're giving up the weapons they previously used to terrorize people. But as Ayodeji Muradeyo reports, authorities and representatives of different militant groups are monitoring to ensure only real armed youth benefit from the amnesty. <laughs> The extended amnesty program for armed youth in Ondo State is recording considerable success with massive turnout of militants to the five coalition centers. The centers in Igbekebo, Arogbo, Ubonla, Ajapa, and Igbokoda, all in Ilaje and SL, the local government areas of the state, are flooded by armed youth. They have been going to the centers to submit their arms. Some of the arms laid down by these repentant militants include pump action rifles, then guns, live ammunition, and locally made artillery weapons. The state deputy governor, Agbola Jai, who doubles as the chairman of the state amnesty committee, taught the collection centers with all their members. Ajayi is delighted with the level of turnout of the repentant and dude. He called on those still in idle to utilize the window of opportunity offered by the government. You can see the turnout. I'm sure this is, this is the second day. This, today is the first, the second day. The second day. The second day. Uh, well, from tomorrow, we'll say that we have also talked to them. We need to engage them. They must uh, seize the opportunity and also embrace it. Uh, this is the only chance they have because anybody who refused to exploit this window, the federal government uh, will deal with the person immediately. The commanding officer of the Nigerian Navy Forward Operation Base, Igbokoda, Navy Captain Chindo Yaya, also described the turnout as impressive. The turnout has been very, very encouraging. Yeah, today is the second day. Um, from what we have seen so far, I think uh, the exercise is going to be very, very successful. One of the repentant commanders of the armed youth, Oshibapa Tekilayon, commended the federal and the state government for the privilege given them to lay down their hands. Yeah, we will thank the government of the, the ruling government, you know, the president and the, and the governors, including the deputy governor. We appreciate uh, their effort. The Undo State Governor, Lua Rotimi Akre Dolu had on the 9th of November issued a 21-day ultimatum to the armed youth to submit their arms. Ayodeji Murade, your TVC News, at Rare Undo State.